It's safe to say, this computer class at CO Greenfield might not have your average curriculum. Walk into any other computer classroom and you can pretty much guarantee students might be learning by playing educational video games. But look a little bit closer in Mr. Smith's class and you'll find kids writing the complex computer code to design these games. It's a unique opportunity because we all use technology every day and very few of us know what goes into the technology. Mr. Smith is tech savvy to say the least. He received a grant last year to teach students as young as the fourth grade the languages that make technology work. Hey Carlos, can you show Melissa how you got your snake to eat the turtle? His efforts okay. have made CO Greenfield the only middle school in Arizona to offer classes that teach students how to code. Not only are they learning this language, they're using these skills to create computer hardware as well. Using simple household items like a piece of cardboard and aluminum foil as well as a little glass of water, students can actually use these devices to connect to their computers right at their desktop. Our teacher bought this, which is called a Makey Makey. Since your body conducts electricity, you need to have a ground, which is a part of the circuit. It makes a button on the keyboard, but instead it's programmed to do it like on here. 16 for the principal and 5 for the student. Principal Stuart Starkey recognized the program's potential early on. I've got a beat because I had 30 years of experience. He knew that offering students the opportunity to design video games would make the program a pretty easy sell. Well, they're used to playing the games, but when we first talked to them about would you actually be able to write the code to be able to make the video game so that you could be the guy selling the next Black Ops, the hands went up instantly. And it's already inspiring students. Some say they found their calling. Once I was shown this, I got really into it, and I started learning more and more, and then the more I learned, the better things I made. Any job that they have, if they're a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, a custodian, it doesn't matter. Programming will make you a more valuable asset to whatever company you end up working for. The best news is, the jobs are out there. Tiffany Nietzsche is just one example of how essential computer programming is for the workforce. She's writing computer code for the Neighborhood Services Department at the City of Phoenix. So this might be a good spot for us to do some work. She's designing an iPad app that will bring up detailed maps to aid city planners in delivering services to Phoenix residents. She knows the power of being able to read and write computer languages can be taught to any age group. Computers are so helpful, so the more you can learn at a younger age, the better. All right, I need everybody's Duke's up tracking me in three. Two. And Smith says age won't stop you from learning this skill. <laughs> That's awesome. So the turtle eats the lettuce and the snakes eat the turtle? Awesome. Programming is difficult for everyone, but it doesn't take a genius to program. Um, if you can read and write, then you can program. The kids have to learn how to think logically, and so even if they're not going to be a programmer when they grow up, it teaches them to solve problems. It, it did open my eyes to other careers. I didn't know it was like this one. And the more of a head start students have, the better chance they have of succeeding in both their careers and their test scores. It, not only just their test scores, but their all around excitement for going to class and being involved in everything they do because they see how all the other subjects make a difference in making them better in here writing code. And whether they grow up to code for Nintendo or Netscape, the skills they've learned here at Greenfield will apply. Okay, who's winning now? You. Who? You. I thought so. Okay. For now, they might just have to settle for one-upping their principal. Well, yeah, he's a, he's a little better at it than I am, but I think the principal intimidation helped, and I came out ahead. For no 99? He may have let me win. I'm Katie Beery.